Here on AFN Ozon the Eagle, I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Caitlin Jones hanging out with you on this day before Thanksgiving. And joined in the studio, I got Jared Barrick from the Camp Humphreys CYSS. Hello, sir. Hello. Thanks for having me again. It's been a little while since I've been here. Absolutely. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to get to lots of stuff because I know you guys have a lot of things coming up. Um, the holidays are coming up, so the kids got some time off. Yeah, we got some big plans coming up we're going to talk about for December. Uh, a lot of things going on for their holiday break and things of that nature. So we got a lot of fun stuff planned. Absolutely. So we will get to that all hour long right here on AFN O's on the Eagles. Stay tuned. Jared from uh, Camp Humphrey CYSS hanging out with me uh, this hour. And uh, you guys have a ton of stuff planned coming up for holiday break, and we'll get to all that awesome, fun stuff. But you guys are actually doing something uh, kind of cool. It kind of caught me off guard, Jared. I'm not going to lie. I saw it, and I saw shoplifting awareness, and I was like, is... Do we have a problem with this at the teen center? Is this? No, absolutely not. We like to throw curveballs in there. <laughs> yeah. You know, put a title in there to uh, raise everybody's eyebrows. Absolutely. Um, and I uh, definitely probably think you got some parents' attention with this one as well. I hope so. It gives them something to talk about. And uh, I'm going to give you some information about it right now so we'll clear it all up. But uh, <laughs> um, we do not have a shoplifting problem with the teens at Camp Humphreys. Let me make that completely clear right yeah, now. We just got to get that out of the way. good young men and women over there. We don't have that problem. Um, but we are doing a partnership with um, AFES, and we're kind of combining it. Um, we're calling it Shoplifting Awareness, but it's a career exploration program. It's an opportunity for them to uh, meet with the loss prevention staff over at AFES, and what they're going to do is kind of take them in the back, show them the behind the scenes, you know, how the cameras work, um, what, the, what the consequences are when they catch somebody shoplifting and things like that. So the shoplifting awareness, um, you know, just kind of let them know that they're, you know, not to do it. You, we don't have a problem now. We don't want a problem in the future. Exactly. Uh, but the main goal is to is show them the technology, explore the career field of loss prevention. Um, it, it's kind of unknown. I mean, I remember um, I graduated with criminal justice, and that was kind of a, a big deal coming out of those, you know, good career opportunities in loss prevention, lots of retail, lots of big stores that, that hire and good money in it. Um, so it's an opportunity for them to learn the technology that's involved in it, what kind of career path they could follow for school if that's something that they're interested in. Mm -hmm. um, and that's going to happen on Wednesday, December 10th, and it's going to be 5 p.m. at AFES. Um, we would tell everybody to meet. Um, anybody interested in doing it, uh, teens uh, grades 6 through 12, um, can meet at Building 427 at approximately 430. Um, they can get on our bus that comes right after school, nice. and it'll take them there right on time. Um, and then we'll all walk over to AFES. It's right in walking distance from our center. So we'll walk right over there, uh, meet with the staff that's going to give us the tour, the seminar, the talks. Um, and to make it even better and more incentive, they're going to give us a free scoop of ice cream at Baskin Robbins afterwards. Oh, cool. So even, uh, you know, come on in for free ice cream and learn something at the same time. It's going to be a real uh, fun opportunity. It's really cool just to see um, the behind the scenes and how all the cameras work and kind of like that eye in the sky thing yeah, uh, a, that they have there at A-Phase. It's a big setup. Like, it's not... Which, they are for real. And, and they should be. And, and it's a great opportunity for them to see that kind of stuff and, and see how much work and, and how much stuff that these do in loss prevention um, that maybe it'll spark their interest and uh, give them something to think about that they never thought of before. Absolutely. So that's going on Wednesday, December 10th. You just meet over at Building 427 and walk on over there. Any kind of sign-up a thing that you guys are doing for that? No sign-up. Just show up. Very cool. We'll be back uh, to talk more to Jared about Humphrey CYSS, and I'll have your weather forecast coming up next. What's up? We're Hot Shell Ray. And you're watching YCTV. Perfect. There we go. That, that easy. Nailed it. <laughs> and that's the wrap. And in the studio with me, Jared from the Camp Humphreys CYSS, talking about all the great things they have planned. And uh, coming up, all the kids, I'm sure, very excited to be out of school for uh, a week or two. The holiday break. 
and you guys are making it even more awesome with lots of stuff planned. Tell us about the lock-in that's coming up. Yeah, we do have, uh, we do two times a year we try to do a lock-in, uh, one in April for the month of the military child, and then we do one in December to kind of celebrate um, the start of the holiday break. Um, so we're going to do it this year on Saturday, December 20th. Um, the last day of school is on Friday the 19th. Um, so we're going to do a lock-in on the 20th, which is Saturday, and we're going to do it at the Humphreys Community Fitness Center. Whoa! Yeah, my marketing team will be happy that I said that correctly. <laughs> the youth know it as the Super Gym, but it is the Humphreys Community Fitness Center. Hooray! And I think they're going to be excited for that. The youth are uh, using that gym as one of their favorite locations to be at. Um, so we have the place all to ourselves on Saturday the 20th from 10 p.m. until 6 o'clock the next morning. Whoa! So we have tons of activities planned for them. we got the gym floor to use. we got got... Um, they got a kitchen in there. We'll do some cooking projects. Um, we have some service projects lined up as well to give back to the community, do some uh, donations for some underprivileged people at the holiday season time, um, putting some things together, um, and movies and snacks, video games, oh. all that good stuff. We're going to transport all our brand new Xbox Ones, PlayStation 4s, all over to the uh, Humphreys Community Fitness Center, <laughs> a.k.a. Super Gym, um, so the youth can have a, uh, a great night and a good time. Um, open to anybody in grades 6 through 12, um, but we're expecting a big turnout. And in having such a large location and so many staff members that we have prepared on board, we're hoping that we can um, segregate those groups um, by ages. And we'll okay. have different locations for the middle schoolers, the 6th through 7th, sixth through 8th graders. And then we'll have separate activities and locations for the high school students. So nobody has to be afraid they're going to sign up and be hanging out with, uh, you know, 6th graders all night if you're a you know, junior or senior. Um, we'll put you in the groups and get you in spots and be able to, you know, go out throughout the whole night and do whatever they want to do and have a good time. That is a very cool. So it's coming up a Saturday, December 20th, but uh, involves a lot of planning. So I'm sure there's some sort of a registration that you got to go through. Oh, for absolutely. This. I mean, our planning has already started and we're, you know, we're almost all the way there, but uh, we just need some help with um, the youth to sign up. Um, we need a permission slip. Yeah. Um, we're not allowed to keep the youth overnight without parents' permission. So all they need to do is fill out a permission slip and they can pick it up at building 427, the youth center. Um, fill it out, have their parents sign it, and bring it back to us before Wednesday, December 17th. So the registration deadline is December 17th. So you still got uh, several, a few weeks, really, to uh, get your registration, your permission slip in for the annual holiday break lock-in. Grades 6 through 12, all sorts of amazing things planned for Saturday, December 20th. And they have to be CYSS registered, right? Yes, it's open to anybody CYSS registered, and they can do that at building 1127. Um, they can call 753-3413 to make a registration appointment. Registration is absolutely free. Um, just a few pages of paperwork, so we have emergency contacts, um, health information, things like that. Um, but again, it's free registration for kids in 6th through 12th grade, building 1127, uh, phone number 753-3413. Very cool. We'll be back with more from Jared right here on AFN OS on the Eagle. And I got Jared from the Camp Humphrey CYSS hanging out with me this afternoon. And we are talking about the lock-in. And that's to kind of kick off holiday break for uh, the, the kids and teens over at Camp Humphreys. But uh, then you guys have a full schedule for the rest of holiday break as well. Tell us about some of the cool activities you guys got planned. Absolutely. We're going to try to keep them busy for the whole time. But the lock-in is on the 20th through the 21st. So we'll give them a day of rest on December 22nd and go right back at it on December 23rd. Uh, we're going to come out your way. We're going to go to the Osan Bowling alley on oh, December cool. 23rd. Um, and we would meet at the Youth Center building 427 at 3 p.m. Um, youth are going to need their own money for the bus fare. We'll take the post shuttle bus all the way over here to Osan. Um, but CYS will pay for their bowling. Oh, cool. Um, so they don't need to... Um, well, they do need to send out a permission slip um, by Friday, December 19th, if they want to attend. Um, and then just bring money for uh, the bus and money for lunch, and then CYS will pay for their bowling. And that's on Tuesday, December 23rd. Very cool. And you guys are taking a, uh, another field trip, but this time a little bit farther. Yeah, we're going to head out to Seoul on Monday, December 29th. And we're going to go over to Latte World, and we're going to go ice skating. Oh, that sounds so cool. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> a good winter activity indoors, too, on yeah. the ice. Um, but we're going to meet at the UC center on december 29th at 9 a.m um and we'll be back at 5 p.m 
Um, the registration deadline for that is Wednesday, December 24th. There is a $15 registration fee, and that covers the ice skating fees, transportation fees. Um, all the youth will need is Korean won to buy their own lunch. Awesome. But $15 will cover their transportation, um, their ice skating, um, and everything else that they need. Um, and again, the registration deadline for that one is Wednesday, December 24th. And the trip is on Monday, December 29th from 9 to 5. Very cool. Taking it all day ice skating. Yes, You're going to be exhausted. You're going to be bringing back some exhausted teens after uh, yeah, a all full our, trek. All our legs are going to be sore yeah. for a couple of days. <laughs> exactly. But you got time to rest up because uh, on New Year's Eve, you guys are staying a little bit closer to home, but still having a blast throwing a little shindig over there at the Teen Center. Yeah, we're going to stay right there at the Youth Center at uh, Building 427 and at our new Teen Lounge at Building Ooh. 570. So every Everybody will get an opportunity to play all the new video games and all that kind of stuff. We're going to have a New Year's Eve party. I'm going to run it from 4 p.m. until 12 a.m. And it's kind of set up as like a game night slash casino night. Um, we got some blackjack tournaments planned. Um, we have bingo um, with prizes. Um, we have a Texas Hold'em tournament planned. Wow. Um, we can put a couple movies on and, you know, do the pizza and, uh, you know, probably sodas and stuff in the uh, countdown to the new year on uh, Wednesday, December 31st. All right. Any kind of sign-up registration for that one? Nope. They just have to be CYSS registered, and then all they have to do is show up at Building 427, uh, 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. Very cool. How can we get more information on everything going on over there at the Humphrey CYSS? Uh, one of the best ways to check us out is at our Facebook, uh, Camp Humphreys Facebook page, um, Humphreys CYSS Teen. Look us up on the Facebook page. It's got all the latest schedules, um, updates, uh, calendars, things of that nature. Um, they can give me a call directly at uh, 753-5614 and happy anytime to talk to them about all the good things that we have going on. Um, and they can also call Parent Central at 753-3413, um, set up an appointment um, to get the youth registered for free um, to do all the fun stuff that we have at the Youth Center. And that's uh, Building 1127, Parent Central Office. Very cool. Don't have too much fun over holiday break, Jared. I will. I'm I not going to make will. that promise. I, I can't wait. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. So check them out on Facebook page, uh, Humphreys CYSS Teen, for more information. Thank you so much, Jared. Thank you for having me.